Hi and welcome to Adaza video on accommodation options for persons with disabilities in South Africa. Brought to you in collaboration with the Anne Harding Cheshire Home and Quad Para Association of South Africa. South Africa's diverse population of persons with disabilities and the elderly requires a range of accommodation options to meet each person's specific needs. While some persons with disabilities and the elderly can comfortably live on their own or with family members or may choose to employ caregivers to live with them in their private homes, this is not an option for everyone and therefore there are various types of accommodation and residential facilities that have been specifically developed to accommodate and care for persons with disabilities as well as the elderly. These residential facilities differ slightly in who they can accommodate and the type of assistance and accommodation that they provide. Criteria can include age, sex, type of disability that they accommodate, amount of assistance required, and cost of accommodation. Some of these residential facilities are financially supported by the government, while others are supported by organisations such as Quasa and the Cheshire Homes. Let's have a look at some of these different types of residential facilities, what they offer and how they differ from each other. Independent Living Centres for Quadriplegics and Paraplegics is a Quasa initiative aimed at promoting independent living for quadriplegics and paraplegics in South Africa. With limited access to education and the formal labour market, and in many cases solely reliant on a disability grant, quadriplegics and paraplegics are often left with little choice but to be dependent on a family member for a home. The Quad Para Association of South Africa, which is also known as Quasa, focuses on promoting independent living for quadriplegics and paraplegics by providing self-help centres which allow communities of wheelchair users to live independently of their families. These centres provide accommodation, meals, care attendance and transport to the residents. The philosophy behind a self-help centre is that the residents are entirely responsible for funding and managing the centre and make all the decisions in respect of hiring staff and providing for the needs of the residents. The focus is not on providing a care home environment, but on giving wheelchair users a place to lead independent lives. There are currently 14 self-help centres situated around South Africa, ranging from 4 to 17 residents per centre, with some provinces having more than one centre per province. If you would like to find out more information about these self-help centres, Please feel free to contact Quasa on 031 767 or visit their website at www.qasa.co.za. While these self-help centres assist specifically quadriplegics and paraplegics, there are various other organisations around South Africa such as the Cheshire Homes who also run accommodation facilities that cater for persons with various disabilities. This includes the Anne Harding Cheshire Homes, which is affiliated to the Leonard Cheshire International in London and is situated in Gauteng. The home was established over 30 years ago following the donation of the grounds by Ben Harding, whose mother Anne was disabled, hence the name Anne Harding Cheshire Home. The Anne Harding Cheshire Home is a registered non-profit organisation for the care, education, training and development of persons with physical disabilities of all races and religions. The Anne Harding Cheshire Homes is currently home to 40 residents with various physical disabilities, but was opened in 1976 in a house and land donated by the council. The house, which is now the charity shop, was only large enough to house eight residents, and even that was tight. Development of the surrounding land only took place much later, and in 1988, a building to house 40 residents was open. The Anne Harding Cheshire Home provides their residents with comfortable accommodation, 24-hour care, nutritious meals, laundry, access to therapists and social workers, as well as physiotherapists, state clinics, hospitals and private practitioners. The home is a warm, homely place with beautiful gardens and a swimming pool. Common areas include lounges, tea areas, a computer room, therapy room and dining area. A wide variety of daily activities keeps the residents motivated and educated, including arts and crafts, painting, bingo, chess and various card games. 
If you would like to find out more about the Anne Harding Cheshire Home and the other independent living options that they provide, please feel free to contact Jackie Carl via email at jackie at cheshirehomes.org.za or visit their website at www.annehardingcheshirehome.org.za. Alternatively, you can visit our section on assisted living and self-help centres to find out about the various other accommodation options available in South Africa, including respite and care centres, daycare centres, government-funded facilities, and various retirement centres that also cater for persons with disabilities. If you are needing additional assistance or information, please contact DASA via email on info at daza.org.za or visit our website at www.disabilityinfosa.co.za. Thank you.